Hi there, it's Ocho Rios at Island Owl Truck and Auto Sales in sunny, shiny Campbell River. Today I've got a 2012 Ram 1500 behind me. It has an unparalleled history. This particular one has experienced many things. So let's talk about them. The design on this key is like a hand grenade and that's no mistake, because after two tours in the Gulf War, this truck came home. Officially, Usain Bolt holds the record for world's fastest man. However, in 2011 in Brussels, this Ram 1500 clocked in at 8.3 seconds. When Leonardo da Vinci himself needed to move the Mona Lisa, he chose this very Ram to do the job. During a visit through Kentucky, this very truck encountered a tornado. After wiping out the entire town, the only thing this Ram needed was window washer fluid. Al Capone himself used this very truck during Prohibition. Al Capone's no longer alive, but this Ram is. Wayne Gretzky is considered the greatest hockey player that ever lived. However, in 1992, had this Ram 1500 decided to be a professional hockey player instead of a truck, it could have been a completely different outcome. This very Ram was used in two missions to space. When Whitney Houston starred in the movie The Bodyguard and she sang the song I Will Always Love You, she wasn't speaking of Kevin Costner. She was talking about this Ram 1500. During a 1997 tour of Western Canada, the Spice Girls refused to be hauled around in a limousine. Instead, they chose this Ram. Originally, this Ram was selected to be Forrest Gump. When the Ram turned it down, they chose Tom Hanks instead. In 1903, this Ram 1500 single-handedly constructed the Panama Canal. Mike Tyson used this very truck to haul around his Tigers. There's unparalleled history in the back of this truck, hosting the World Cup of Soccer in 1972 and again in 1994. Had the villains in the original Robocop known about this truck, there would have been no need for a Robocop 2 or 3. Albert Einstein himself discovered the theory of relativity right in this seat. Steve Irwin used this very truck to haul around crocodiles. Yeah. I'd like to see a sedan do that. Right here, there's a lot of history. It's not just a glove box. This is where they established the first Dewey Decimal System. This Ram is fluent in seven different languages. During casting for the Transformers series, this Ram 1500 was approached to play Bumblebee. When the truck found out that Bumblebee's yellow, he said, no way, Jose. And they went with the Camaro instead. Wow, there's all sorts of nostalgia in this Ram 1500. So if you want a truck that's like telling stories with your grandpa, it's durable, reliable, and has a ton of history, this is a truck to come down and see only at Island Owl Truck and Auto Sales in Campbell River.